I'm Sean, um, I play lacrosse, uh, I play for the first team, I'm the captain at the moment. To be able to have like an hour and a half just to unleash, especially because it's a very physical sport, um, you can release a lot of like pent up anger and everything and put it in the right way. Um, I think it builds a big family uh, for who you can you know, become by part of, being part of any sport to be fair. Um, but I know that since joining lacrosse, um, I know that I've, I've surrounded myself with so many people now, um, and it does make a big difference to the you know, uni life. I think it's more outdated in terms of what it used to be referred to as. Um, I think men do need to be able to have a space to express themselves. I do think there's a certain element of resilience that you'll get if you do manage to bring yourself through it, but you shouldn't have to do it yourself. There's a lot of reasons. I think one of them is because it's always been you've got to be strong, you've got to just deal with it, you've got to man up and like get on with it. Um, because you've never been, everyone who had opened up before maybe was seen as weak. Um, I know that's sometimes the case for myself. I've never wanted to feel like I'm a burden on anyone else because of what my, I'm going through. I've always wanted to be there for other people rather. So that's why I haven't opened up as much as I should have. And I think a lot of people are in the same boat. I do because it's something that everyone has in common, they all enjoy the sport. Um, so you know that you can trust them and they're in this sort of group that you uh, do a lot of stuff with so you can trust them as your like, best friends and stuff like that. Um, and it does help me come out to them a bit more, especially through when we go through like big victories or big losses. There's a lot of emotions fueled by that so uh, you kind of break down your walls a little bit to be able to you know, talk about it. Especially for playing in like a aggressive and physical sport, um, it's seemed as weak. You, you can be then taking the mick out of, uh, not necessarily much more these days, but I think that still sits in the back of people's minds that you don't want to seem as that, as that weak person. Um, and then they could, so yeah, it definitely affects people's attitude when it comes to training if they do think they are a weaker player then it shows in their game um, even so that's why I think people just don't don't want to expose themselves. I think a lot of people don't realise that because not everyone opens up everyone is going through stuff and maybe they think that everyone isn't. Some people because especially nowadays you can be seem happy on the outside and then actually you go home, you close yourself in your room and you know that all just disappears. So I think they might feel alone in that case um, and even being told you know, you're not alone in all of this without seeing it because not everyone's doing it, they don't believe it. Um, I know that's partly the case for me. Um, so it's, yeah, it's tricky to break that barrier to be like some of the first to actually completely open up about everything. Stressed. Um, the whole run up to varsity has been a lot, um, especially as a captain, there's a lot of pressure on your team um, to, to perform for the team and to make the team work and it's, a lot of it is on me. Um, I've had to bring in other people because I can't handle the stress all myself um, and alongside university um, it's just finding time to do both. It just means I'm non-stop um, and it is a lot 